Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafting Me Easy. If you're interested to see how I did this phone case, stand by. It has been a very eventful, to say the least, uh, two months, um, but I am back. If you saw my post, you know what was going on. And first and foremost, I just want to say thank you for all the prayers, um, the messages, and the well wishes um, for me and my family. It truly meant a lot to me. Um, I'm still, of course, in the grieving stages, but um creating um and just using my creativity helps me um cope so i'm um, decided to just come back with some um videos for everyone and i've been wanting to do this for quite a while so um because my list of oh i could do that i could do that i could do that is growing and growing and growing so i decided to just turn on the camera and let y'all see what i have been working on behind the scenes um, with all of that said, let's get into this project. So the items you'll need to complete this project will include a phone case. I purchased these phone cases off of Shein um, for a dollar. So I purchased, and you can get like different sizes. You can get some for Droid phones, some for iPhones, and they were only like a dollar. Um, they're pretty flexible and they're pretty um, good for just to put over your phone for like decorative purposes and I think I have another one um, on my phone I didn't get that from Shein but I got it from Amazon and it was pretty much the same material um, and it's been on my phone for quite a while and my phone has not had any like dense cracks or scratches knock on wood um, yet and I've had it for over a year so um, these are pretty good not like outer box or anything like that but they'll work um, so like I said, I got these off of Shein for a dollar. Um, you will need a chain, any type of chain. You can find chains in Walmart. You can find them in Hobby Lobby. You can find them in Michaels. I actually purchased this one a long time ago off of Etsy. It is actually a bracelet because it has the clip and everything on there. So you see it has the clip and it's actually a bracelet, but I'm going to use it um, as the phone chain case. Or the phone holder um, you'll also need these rivets I think that's what they're called uh, I'm probably they're probably not called rivets I think they're called rivets but I'm not 100% sure because I took the name thing off of it but I purchased this off of Amazon it will definitely be in the description below um, and if you wanted to you can use some jump rings you don't necessarily have to use any jump rings because you can pry your chain apart to avoid using jump rings but if you want to give it a little bit more of extension you can use the jump rings you also need a sharpie um, some jewelry um, pliers and an exacto knife I believe that is all that you'll need if I'm missing anything I will definitely put it in the description box below all right y'all let's get started all right so first things first is what you're going to do let me move this out of the way is you're going to line up where you want to put your chain at so i'm going to go in a diagonal if you wanted your chain to go straight up and down you can if you want to just go across i mean it kind of looks weird but if that's what you want to do you can um but i want mine to go in a diagonal fashion so i'm going to start it right here and it'll end about right here so my chain is actually a little too long but i'll fix that in the end it's not a big deal so you're going to go ahead and mark your starting point so my starting point, I'm going to start it about right here. So I'm just going to put a little dot right there. And you don't want to mark the ending point just yet because you want to see how tight it will be. Um, and if you're holding it like so, you won't be able to put your hand under there to try it. So once you put this rivet on, then you can um, see how tight you want it to be. So you'll just put the starting point there. And then I'm just going to put like a little hole where the Sharpie mark is. 
and that's just helping the rivet go through and try not to cut your go in several times with the exacto knife just to make the hole big bigger because the screw is pretty um, wide but uh, once you get it through you just take this the top part so this part here the one with the loop and you just screw it onto the screw Screw it as far as you can because then it'll start twisting and then you'll take your screwdriver and get it as tight as you can. Now you can if you want to put a little glue on there just to make sure the screw will stay on there um, or you can put a little UV resin and um, heat it up or cure it I should say to see, make sure it'll stay but this is pretty tight I don't feel like this is going anywhere. So. Yeah, because this is like really screwed in. All right, so that is that. Okay, and so you have your first part there. And then you'll take your chain. All right, and so then you'll take your chain. Now with this chain, because it was a bracelet or it was meant to be a bracelet, this does not, it won't um, pry open but the rivet will or the jump ring on the rivet will i keep calling it a rivet if it's not a rivet I, i'll correct it later but <laughs> or i know someone in the comments probably will but um this jump ring does open up so let me just turn it there we go all right so it has a little part right here so you see that part right there that is a big jump ring so and that will open up but you don't want to open it up too wide but you'll just do it like any normal jump ring and you'll open it back and forth not side to side and then you'll just flip your chain in now if you have some um, that don't have the jump ring which I have not seen any but I'm sure there are in some you want to make sure your chain is able to um, come apart so you'll be able to put it on the jump ring and then all you'll do is just close your jump ring back there we go all right, so then we have that side okay and to get our other side, we just want to see how tight this will be or how tight or how loose you want it to be. So you'll hold it in the manner that you want it. And I think that's about good. Um, that should be good. But you don't want it to pull too much because... The phone will be in here, so I think about right there is fine. And then you'll just mark where you want the other rivet to go. You're gonna go take your sharpie Oops. and you'll just mark it. I think I want this last one too. Okay. 
then you'll just push that to the side and then you'll do the same exact step that you did the first time fighting with this hole so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll be right back okay so i had to do a little bit of surgery on this chain in order to um, get it to pry apart so i did get it to pry apart and so i can re release this extra piece here so all right and this is the finished product so it was really easy to do the only tough part was putting that screw into the hole making it fit into the hole but you'll just have to wiggle your exacto knife you may be able to make like a little x to make the hole just a little bit bigger or you can just keep trying to make the hole big by um drilling the exacto knife in um to make it bigger it's up to you on how you want to make the hole bigger but you just have to make sure it fits the width of the screw let me just show you see that's kind of thick so you just want to make sure you get it to where it can um, get in there but it is pretty stable it's not going anywhere this is screwed in but like i said you can add a little glue in there if you're worried that it will come apart but it does it's screwed in there it's nice and tight on here so i don't feel as though it's going to come out so i didn't use any glue or any uv resin or anything like that and then the chain is pretty sturdy um i had to use my exacto knife to get in between so i would be able to pry the um the um links apart so i could take off the access of the um, chain so it wasn't dangling there um you could also put charms on here if you wanted to um i've seen some with beads or you know different um embellishments you can do it however you want but i think this is cute enough just the way it is um so if you are um if you end up trying this project out i'm sorry i'm a little rusty i have not been recording in a while so if you end up trying this project out, you can go ahead and show off what you did and you can put it in my Facebook group. It is Crafting Made Easy, spelled the same way as this YouTube channel is below. Um, I have not been in that group um, in the last couple months related to the same um, tragedy, but um, I will be getting back into um, my creative judge zen whatever you want to call it and i'll be uh, more proactive in that group um also if you are watching this video and you like what you see go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the like button and the notification bell to be notified when i drop new videos all right y'all i'm glad to be back i hope you are glad that i am back i hope you have a beautiful beautiful day and until next time y'all peace